everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Sarah Loray and today I am going to be showing you guys how I campaign for companies right now I am an ambassador for iBuy Direct and so I'm an iBuy icon and I'm just gonna kind of take you behind the scenes of what that looks like and how I campaign my specific photos I'll kind of give you guys an idea of the photos that I have recently um, but campaigning can be super simple and you definitely don't need like the most expensive equipment you can just use the camera that you have an iPhone. I'm gonna be taking you along with me throughout my entire spring cleaning Sunday. I recently got a new kitchen table and chair set. Right now I actually am having it sunbathed that way I can take some cleaning solution as well as polish to this because it was secondhand. Guess how much it was? It was $40. I cannot pass this up because we are moving into a new place here within the next month or so. Yeah. yeah, we don't have a kitchen table set. We never did because the last place we lived in was a one bed, one bath. And now this is a two bed, two bath. And it's a lot bigger of a space. So I can actually have a huge family size table. And I'm really excited. But yeah, anyways, let's go. Okay, I'm so sorry if you actually hear like wind blowing or anything. It's very warm. I live in Arizona, so if you hear a fan, it's a fan. Okay, shooting campaigns for different companies. Um, again, I talked a little bit about how I campaign for iBuy Direct, and I absolutely love doing so, but I just wanted to show kind of behind the scenes tips, tricks, and how I conquer that. Now, it honestly can be done on an iPhone. I have done campaigns on my iPhone before. However, with being a photographer, I was just using this as a convenience crutch, and it no longer made sense to me because there are certain things that you cannot capture on a cell phone that you can on a DSLR or camera. It doesn't have to be the nicest camera in the world. In fact, my favorite camera that I own, it even triumphs the camera that I tend to borrow, Nikon Z60, I think it's called. Um, love that camera. but. The one that I always gravitate towards is my good old T3i US Canon. Now, I just, I don't know, it's just an amazing little camera and I can capture some really great quality shots. However, this is my recommendation. Instead of working with the out of box 18 to 55 millimeter lens, this is just an okay lens and it gets a wider frame, but if you are starting off and you wanna work with an amazing lens that has better quality glass to it, I highly recommend picking up the 50 millimeter because it captures amazing portrait shots. You can let in a lot more light at a lower aperture. It just captures light beautifully. Now, am I saying you need to go out and buy yourself an expensive camera? No, I'm just giving you different options in which you can use. If you are going to use something like the iPhone, I do highly recommend using portrait mode. This can capture amazingly depthy looking photos without trying too hard. You can capture that blurry effect on portrait mode. You can even filter through natural light, studio light, stage light, contour light, and stage light mono. So if you have nothing else and you want to use something like your iPhone, I do highly recommend just putting it on portrait because if you put it on photo, you're getting a wider frame but it doesn't give you that super nice blurry effect if you were to put it on something like portrait. It gets closer, it crops the photo for you, but it really does blur out everything in the background and it gives you a more shallow looking, more crisp frame of the face. So if you are shooting something that is like makeup or frames or anything like that, I do highly recommend using portrait mode. If you are more of a beginner and you have something like the T3i, I do highly recommend kind of starting off on a depth. This is auto depth of field. Essentially, you're telling the camera to give you a really nice blurred background, but do it for me automatically. Um, and it does that amazingly. It gives you a really cool effect. So again, if you are a beginner and let's just say you bought this and maybe never really knew how to use it and you don't wanna quite go to manual settings, 
do highly recommend doing the A-depth of field and just working with what you have because you can create a stunning photo that way. Within my campaigns and projects itself, being that it is springtime and they just released their newest frames, they have an amazing metallic detail at the top of the frame. I also have clear ones, but what I wanted to go ahead and do with this campaign is incorporate different textures, different color patterns, and really just liven up the photo. So I'm going to be wearing these along with what you can see in the frame right now, which is going to be a green tank top and a fluorescent hot pink or maybe even, what do you call that, a magenta. I'm also going to mix it up with the cow print pattern. As you can tell, I really love incorporating cow prints into my springtime fashion. But those are just really tiny tips and tricks if you do have something like a camera, even if it's a vlogging camera, you can actually manipulate a lot of the different settings that a vlogging camera has. So I do highly recommend the Sony Alpha series, that is what I use, because you can really really fine tune on the ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed, and really work with it. You can also use the meter, I can just really really work with the camera itself. So again, if you have something like a point and shoot vlogging camera like what I have, if you have an old DSLR, I do highly recommend picking up a portrait lens which is the 50mm. But those are just my tips and tricks. I hope that was helpful for you guys, but let's go ahead and get on with the rest of our day. Spring cleaning, let's do it. And really quick, I just wanted to recommend an amazing, amazing scent that I recently just purchased. Actually, Connor just purchased. Thanks so much. Um, he's like, treat yourself. I was like, okay, this is the best day ever. But if you haven't smelled yet, the Dolce & Cabana Rose Perfume, this stuff is absolutely amazing smelling um it reminds me of the perfumes that you would get in the really expensive catalogs where they have the sample rip open panel perfumes i'm gonna call them but oh my stars of liza right but for the fit today i have this amazing all cotton boxy collared shirt that i found thrifting the other day with my mom and I'm also wearing, I believe these are 512s. They're so old that they are so buttery. I love them. And we have AF1s. So I'm just doing something super simple um, because it's warm. I was actually going to pair this purple top, pop the collar, the collar, <laughs> pop the collar underneath my Notre Dame, Notre Dame, however you say that. I have the color pop on this to be like super eastery and super spring-like, but it's just too warm. But yeah, I don't know, man. I just really, really like, it's almost like a feminine, but also masculine because this kind of reminds me of a dude shirt with the jeans and these. But anyways, that's the fit. stir fry from yesterday's dinner and I just stacked it on top of like a spring salad mix and then on top of that I have avocado and a little bit of parmesan cheese I'm also going to dig into some Mediterranean Mediterranean herbs and citrus hummus and then I have these multi-seed gluten-free crackers that are just absolutely amazing and of course a coffee mm -hmm. this tastes like restaurant stuff i'm not even kidding while i am having my lunch i thought i would tell you guys a little bit again so sorry if you can hear my fan i thought i would tell you a little bit about 
three youtubers that i have absolutely been loving the first one he's more serious because he i believe he was a photographer now he does like documentary could you consider that he does interviews with loads of different people and his channel is called soft white underbelly he does amazing work it's just so interesting to hear these people's stories because i'll just read down the line of what i'm seeing incest survivor interview rapist james interview drug addict drug addicting mother and son interview mafia mob boss interview skid row prostitute kidnapping story and his work is just absolutely amazing because he takes quality pictures of these people and sets up a 17 to 20 maybe 30 minute interview with them and it is so fascinating to think of how diverse they are why they got where they are because a lot of people essentially dehumanize these types of people that he's interviewing but they're humans too and they have upbringing too and they have lives too and it just really puts you in a perspective of everybody is the same but we are all so so different it's heavy it's intense it makes you really feel for them and he actually does follow-up interviews it's just so fascinating and then my second one that I continuously watch week to week every Sunday is Middle Age Minx. She is a fantastic lady. Um, in her 60s, Joe, don't kill me if you are watching this. And her name is Jo Good. She is a, a radio show talk host for the BBC in London. She lives in Marylebone. Her life is just so fascinating. She also has Matilda, her 13 year old bulldog and i just think she's super intriguing very funny and just leads a very very wonderful life also another british person whom i have been following for over a decade and that is rhiannon ashley vlogs her her daughter and her soon-to-be husband just vlog their lives well she vlogs their lives and they're just so precious and they're just amazing vlogs they're always quality i love her vlogmas it's just so special and i definitely recommend giving those three youtubers a follow subscribe like their stuff because it is so it's good quality it's quality of content anyways i'm gonna finish up my stuff and then i'll talk to you soon i thought i would bring you guys to one of my favorite spots <laughs>
Alrighty guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you were able to learn a little bit of something in regards to brand deals and just little tips and tricks. Thank you so much for following me around on my productive Sunday and my spring cleaning, along with getting my campaigns done. I really appreciate your guys' company. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. If you got any sweet brand deals, I would absolutely love to hear it down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of my next upload. But other than that, thank you again for watching. And just remember, be wise, stay humble, and ignite your passion. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.